Let's take a moment to really understand and remember the difference between adsorption and absorption. Let's start with adsorption. So adsorption, the key idea is it's a surface phenomena. It happens on the surface of materials. So you can imagine we have activated carbon charcoal here, and these atoms, molecules, or ions, can be any of those, they're going to stick on the surface. They're going to become attached. They adhere. We could say there is adhesion where they're attached to the surface of the activated carbon. So the key here with adsorption, it happens on the surface. We have these atoms, ions, or molecules, and it can be from a gas or a liquid or something dissolved in a solid. Again, the key is that it's on the surface. One way to remember this is to think of the word advertisement, like adverts. They're on the surface of things like buses, buildings, and even Formula One race cars. So we have our advertisements stuck on the surface, just like we have these atoms, molecules, or ions stuck to the surface of our material here. Let's talk about absorption. For absorption here, we're talking about the atoms, molecules, or ions actually entering into the substance. We call it the bulk phase. And it can be a solid or a liquid. So that would look like this. We have our atoms, molecules, or ions, and we put them on, say, this sponge here, and they absorb into the sponge. So they're now inside the sponge. One way to remember this is to think about your abdomen. So your abdomen here, you have your stomach and your intestines. You eat food, it goes in your mouth, down your esophagus, into your stomach, and it makes its way through your abdomen. But during that time, you absorb that food into your bloodstream, all those sugars and nutrients. So you're absorbing those nutrients into your bloodstream. They're entering your bloodstream, and they're carried throughout your body to nourish you. The key here is, when we talk about absorption, we're talking about ions, atoms, or molecules entering into the substance. So we can think about examples of absorption, pretty common everyday things like paper towels absorbing water, or we can even absorb gases like carbon dioxide from air into something like a solution of sodium hydroxide. Adsorption, that's a little more obscure. Let's take a look at one example. So the picture here shows us what's called activated carbon, sometimes called activated charcoal. This is used in things like water filters and in filters that you breathe through. It has a lot of surface area. And remember, we said adsorption, just like those advertisements, they're on the surface. So when you have all of this surface area, that activated carbon can capture lots of particles. If it's drinking water, it can take things like mercury out. Or if you're breathing air, it can remove toxins. So filters are a good example, like Brita filters that filter water, or, or some of the masks you can use to filter out particles from the air. And they get stuck on the surface here, and that's how they're prevented from getting in your drinking water or into your lungs. So to recap, adsorption takes place on the surface, where absorption, we have the actual molecules, atoms, or ions entering into the material. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.